This is, uh, this is pretty exciting. This is the start of what we are going to do is a consistent, at the minimum, once a month on the golf course, documenting this series of sort of game improvement, skill improvement that we're going on, whether it's speed. For me, it's, it's definitely going to be focused on short games. So this is, this is day one, which is really, really exciting. There's lots of things we've done in the channel over the last five, six years, but I don't think anything, we've, we've never really achieved consistency with the on-course stuff. And you guys have wanted it, you've asked for it. So uh, really excited to do that. We've got an incredible venue for sort of episode number one. The Grand Golf Club here in San Diego is absolutely phenomenal facility. So I think this series, you know, with myself and Mike and the guests that we get on the channel, really excited for people to join us like Mac or Johnny Wonder, whoever it might be, uh, really excited to, to bring you guys some cool on-course content. Okay, we just need a, a little bit of luck for it to have worked its way out of that stuff. It, it's not until you do these on-course vlogs you have an appreciation for everything that's going on. It just, like, when you watch the finished product, it just looks like the guys are just playing when there's so much other stuff you're trying to connect to. Arcos, you're trying to connect, you're trying to get the quad ready, you've got sensors going on. Of course, you've never played, you've got someone going, okay, take it down this side, do this, do that. And it's just like, can we just golf? Can we just play? So that's the goal. We're, we're going to try and focus on just playing. It's not bad. Got very lucky. <laughs> very lucky. Okay, guys, we have had a heck of a leave. I mean, any further up and we've got no chance, we're literally chipping out, but we've got 115, well, side slope, so it is going to fall to the right. So try and keep this down the left side. If it falls to the pin, great. 115, little gap wedge. It's a nice hole to start with, to be fair. If you're a little fair with wooden away, just kind of really what you want. We're going to ease our way into it. You just want to, don't want to make a compound error early in the round. So it's like, okay, let's get it on. Give yourself a little, little look at birdie if we can, but if it's a two-putt par and we're walking out with that, I'll take it right now. A word of advice for you guys out there. Never head to the golf course without hitting a putt on the putting green first. I have yet to hit a putt, putt on the putting green. So I'm going to rely on my lovely host, Mr. Talgy, to tell me how the greens are. Nice four, Josh. Thank you. Par in the first. We got lucky in the, the tee shot. There's no doubt about that. But you got to take the breaks when you get them. We're calculating about 180 with the slope downhill. Uh, if anything, it's a slight bit of hurt against us, but it's not going to play too much. Got six iron. Go. Not sure. A little heavy. Not not the best. I like that you're playing the perfect host, Josh, and you're just like showing me that. Look at that. Ten feet. Who cares? Ryan Andrews, up and down. Was that was that two or? That was a three. Okay, great, up and down. Yeah, this one is, this could really have to start this out to the left here. Easy, easy. Wow, still has some on it though, doesn't it? I don't think that's a putt that could be left short. No, I think you're right. Arcos says, these are the ones that I've need to work on. Take that, we'll take it. I like the positive self-talk going into the pot too. Yeah. You gotta work on these ones. Gotta work on these ones. These ones mean something. These three. Two greens, two putts. Two greens, yeah. Regulation play. Well, apart from the front driver one, but regulation, two greens, two regulation putts. That's nice and solid. That was a tricky uh, two putt. That's the type of stuff that maybe will catch me out, especially early in a round, where I'm maybe not quite kind of dialed in yet with speed or whatever, but, or, or just, you know, concentrate and you can kind of let those silly ones get away from you and you're sort of chasing your tail for the round. So that was nice to make that one uh, and then sort of put a good stroke on it. So those ones really start to build the confidence for the day. Miss it. 
We've hit the tree, it's, it's spat it down at 200 yards, which is a shame. It caught up there, we'd be kind of up probably by up that second bunker, but we'll lay it up probably 210, we'll leave us 135. All right, we're in good shape. Nudged one on down there, we should have a nice, nice wedge in. Oh, uh, 100%, like this, this to me is when sort of, I get really sort of comfortable with this sort of stuff. It's 90 yards, got a little wind at our back, so, you know, if we, if we fly it, sort of the number, it might take one skip and then sort of back up down to the right. So just a nice, just a nice sandwich. Greens are receptive here. You can see like when you're taking, when the ball's pitching in, you're taking big, big chunks out the, um, out the green. All right, 55 degree, little down breeze, 90 yards, hit it just past the flag and we'll hopefully just back it up. Go, get up. Oh, I was a little more aggressive than I was trying to be. Sneaked right on me, little toy. Sometimes you catch that one, it's just got so much spin on it, it just doesn't really get up in the air. That was that one. Again, don't, we don't know the course. There's a lovely little back, backstop, like six, seven yards past this, the flag. That's the play there. I think if you play this again, you know exactly that's what's there. Wow, that's fast. I did not think I hit that that hard. Ah. Ay, ay, ay. That's frustrating. Three putt from kind of nowhere, but it just, it does not look that fast, even looking back at it. I, I well, felt good after it left the putter face, but just these greens are slick. Come on. Ball down. This is some high tariff stuff. Problem is we've got a little upslope, so it's gonna launch the ball, so we gotta try and hood it enough, but we don't wanna kind of skim it off the hill. We're just gonna try and punch something under the tree, get it chasing. Okay. We got a little tree, but we got it to the front edge. Work to do, you can see why you, know, you rack up and, and you know, not to try and get it too much into my own head, but two putt, two putt, you're quite confident, feeling good, and then you three putt one, and then you're left with a 70 footer where you've got to try and two putt it, and it's just, you can see how the, the confidence can sort of drain away with the putter. That's kind of been the story of my season. All right, we're opting for the, uh, the wedge, the 46. Got to try and certainly chase this back. It's kind of like a, a pitch it halfway and let it run the rest. Bold, but not too bold. Much more bold than that. Ah, oh, that's a waste. Such a waste. Ah. Tough to be aggressive after the last. There. We're struggling, struggling today. I don't really, uh, don't really feel like I'm, I'm seeing a shot yet off the tee. I don't really feel like I feel like I tried to draw there and kind of, I'm blocking the draw and I'm pulling the cut. You're in trouble when you start that. A little up, yeah, a little uphill but downwind. I don't want to get caught out like I did in the last one where it kind of fell a little short. So we are definitely, definitely going to fly this one over the stick. It's hard sand wedge or little gap wedge. I'm gonna go with little gap wedge. Turn a little, a little bit. All right, safe. Safely on. Actually was it on a way more of a slope than I thought it was. When, when I kind of addressed it, I'm like, this is one that if you swing too fast, you can quickly turn it left. 
So, did not want to entertain any part of that. Wow, great speed. Great play. Thank you. Really didn't want to go back to back to back three putts. So that was a, that was a biggie. Putt, Josh. Good putt. All right, seems like we've got a lot of three woods out here today. Feels like that. Straight at Xander's house is the line. Ugh. Should be okay, stay short. Definitely not okay. Definitely not okay. <laughs> I was saying the KSR 2 Plus was close. It was, it was very close. It was very close. Okay, little unlucky, gets stuck up here in the bunker. 103, little downwind, back pin. Kind of like a backstop, so we can, I think we can kind of be a little more aggressive with this one and fly it back there. A bit skinny, down. Oh, that's a nightmare leave. Tried to pick it, just picked it too clean. It was almost good. Super fluffy lie, thick. It's going to be just like a little bunker shot. If we can just get it over that ridge, I mean, the ball, the weight of the golf ball on its own is going to do its own thing. But I think as an East Coaster, these are these are the tricky ones. Oh, got a little more ball than I wanted to, but. We'll take a chance. Oh, that got all the cup as well, didn't it? Oh, <laughs> that's good. <good. laughs> I know it had too much pace, but. All right, little left to righter. It's going to break a lot at the end. It did break, but I just hit it a little too hard. All right, Josh, what uh, what we got? Bunker down the right? Yeah, you got bunker down the right. You've got pretty good wind into us here. Yeah, not easy. We're looking at a par five. Okay, par five. I'm pretty sure it's par five. Sneaky. Um, 512 yards. Yeah. So. Wrong club? Should we be going I think with the big it's stick? Time to go for it. Like, I think. Big dog? Yeah. Let's do big dog. Stay there. Should be okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, it is meters. It was meters. Yeah, makes sense if that's what the number was. That is too good. 234 yards. I think meters or yards? Yards. Okay. 100% oh, of the time. Yeah. We are going full send, Josh. Love that. 234 into the wind, probably playing 250 back to the stick, so. Solid one will get us on the dance floor. Just cut on me. Should be short, right? Yeah. Just not firing in all cylinders with the three wood today. A little bit of what I've seen in the bay, I think just that upward angle of attack has got me hitting a little low in the head and not quite catching it solid. We'll get it. With three over par, par five, up and down for birdie, that's... That's what we got to be shooting for here. Get it back to one, one over by the turn. Oh, just hung on. Okay, tricky little shot. You want to make sure you get enough of it. You just do not want to be faced with the same thing again. Came out really good. Okay, I think we're going to have a little chance at it. I thought that was going to be stone dead. Decent amount of break. It's got to kind of fall in just in at seven o'clock, just in the front left. Got to make sure you give it enough. It's one of those putts that can get low early and just look like it just never had a chance. Oh. I never even thought for a second I would be having to hit it. Okay, take that as a positive, it was a good read. Just didn't quite hit it. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna go one more little eight. 
just a little three quarter knock down, keep the flight down a little bit. Same line as Josh, keep it right of the, the right of the flag. Turn a little, turn. Ah, it's stuck out there, didn't it? Come on. Took a long time to go, but it made it. Thank you, Ryan. Did the high nine? But we've got another chance. So we're warming up. We're hitting enough greens. I think I've missed three greens and I've made three bogeys on three missed greens. So short game's not sharp enough and off the tee is definitely not sharp enough. You could maybe hit it on the right edge, but... I wasn't leaving it short after the last one. All right, three wood. Time to behave. Normally a trusty one. Closer. That'll do. Okay, 164. Nice back left. It should be right in the middle of the green, and if we turn it, we turn it. Seven iron to be aggressive with it. Stay there, stay. Okay, maybe just on the fringe. I caught it a little cleaner than I wanted to. I wanted to sort of drive it down a little more into the wind. Just get a bit more of a strike on it, but clipped it clean. Gorgeous hole though. These holes that are a down, I and mean, this place is absolutely spectacular, but the holes that are down on the flat, for me are so much more comfortable than the ones where it's got the crazy elevation. Um, out is fine. Okay. Yep, thanks bud. That's how we do it. That is really good. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, that's sort of a wrap on the front nine or back nine actually here at the Grand. We're going to now go and grab some lunch. We're going to go and play the front. We're going to cut these videos into sort of two separate whole, uh, vlogs. So 38 on the back. It wasn't my best stuff for sure, uh, but you could see towards the end, we were one more roll in the par five away from birdie. We, we had a good look at the par three and then we managed to sneak one here in number 18. So 38, pretty good stuff, pretty rusty, pretty much as expected, but hopefully we'll tighten a few things up for the front nine.